Hi, my name is Kevin Keane, and I did my presentation on William Bradford and his Of Plymouth Plantation. William Bradford wrote a detailed manuscript describing the Pilgrim's experience in the New World known as Of Plymouth Plantation. Between the years 1630 and 1651, in the 270-page manuscript written in the form of two books, Bradford recorded everything from the Pilgrim's experiences living in the Netherlands to their voyage on the Mayflower and their daily life in Plymouth Plantation. The manuscript is known by many names, such as the history of Plymouth Plantation, the history of Plantation at Plymouth, and William Bradford's journal. Bradford never made any attempt to publish the manuscript during his lifetime, and instead gave it to his son William, who later passed it on to his own son, Major John Bradford. William Bradford also, as soon as he got off the Mayflower, he signed the Mayflower Comp, um, comp when the ship arrived in Cape Cod. The work describes the story of pilgrims from when they lived in the Dutch Republic in 1608 through the Mayflower voyage and up to the year 1647. Bradford also discusses his thoughts on religion and Bible compared with the mission of the pilgrims. It ends with the list of the Mayflower passengers and what happened to them as of 1651. William Bradford who was born 1588 and lived till 1657, was born in England. And in 1609, he joined a group of nonconformist Protestants who sought religious freedom in Holland. From there, Bradford helped prepare for a pilgrim expedition to create a separatist religious colony in America, which was Plymouth Plantation. And it was established in 1620, and Bradford was chosen as governor after the death of the colony's first leader, John Carver, in 1621. And he was also re-elected 20 times and served as his leader for much of the rest of his life. Bradford journeyed with several dozen religious nonconformists to America on the Mayflower, along with other passengers, servants, merchants, and a handful of adventurers. Bearing around 100 colonists, the ship arrived in about at Cape Cod Bay on November 11, 1620, near modern Provincetown an area occupied by the Nassau Indians soon after arrival and advance party raiders raided several caches of Nassau corn and beans prompting the local tribe to attack them. On December 16, 1620, the, the colonists who had been shipbound since leaving Holland sailed across Massachusetts Bay from Cape Cod and disembarked at Plymouth. About half the English died of starvation, disease, or the exposure in the first four months the survival the survivors elected Bradford governor in 1621, and despite early conflicts with their Native American neighbors, Bradford established peaceful relations, relations with the Massiot, who were with the, the chief of the neighboring Wapanogs during the colony's early years. Factional splits divided the colonists until 1627. Bradford and a majority bought out the original stockholders, and then the economy of Plymouth, based on the shared agriculture, depended on the good relations with neighboring tribes. This was usually affected through trade and diplom diplomacy with the Indians. The Indians also taught the English how to su successfully grow local crops, such as pumpkins, corn, and beans. Relations with other English non-religious colonies, such as those formed under Thomas Weston at West Gost, and under Thomas Morton at Mount Wollaston, or Mary Mount, were problematic. In 1628, Miles Standish and men from Plymouth drove the out Morton and his men for providing guns and alcohol to the Indians and for frolicking with them. In 1630, about another English religious statement, a settlement was founded in Boston as the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and an influx of Puritans began to pour into New England from the mother country. Plymouth achieved solid financial footing, entering into trade with settlers in New Holland at Manhattan and the Houston, oh, sorry, the Hudson Valley, conducting regular trips back to England in exchange for furs, money, goods, and supplies. The work has carried many different names and is originally written of Plymouth Plantation, but now the modern spelling of Plymouth is used. It has also been published as History of Plymouth Plantation, 